Across the 5,000 acres of the Tacoma Tide Flats, you'll see signs of active industry. For more than a century, this has been a hub of economic growth. But over the decades, much of the industry located here has left a legacy of pollution. Currently, the Port of Tacoma owns about half the property that makes up the Tide Flats. And for the past 40 years, the port has worked to transform historically polluted property that it has purchased into land that can be used for new job-creating businesses in the South Sound. The process is called environmental remediation, and a success story is the former Kaiser Smelter site, now used by auto importers. Another is Parcel 14, home to a restored wetland and regional logistics center after decades of being used as an unauthorized smelter dump site. Toxins found in the soil or groundwater of these sites depend on what kind of industry once operated there. Cleanup is often a long, complicated, and expensive process. For private developers, the costs rarely pencil out. But as a public entity, ports are uniquely positioned to do this work. Unlike private landowners, ports can access funds from state and federal sources, grant opportunities, and state taxes paid by the companies that import toxic chemicals. The port also tries to recover costs from the original polluters. All of this makes it possible for previously contaminated land to be cleaned up, redeveloped, and brought back to productive use by businesses here in Pierce County. To date, the port has invested more than $200 million, remediating nearly 1,100 acres, with plans to transform several hundred more as it continues its work to make contaminated land useful once again. Learn more at portoftacoma.com.